You're getting too close. There's two over there making a lot of noise. As soon as he saw me, they ran to me. It was so cute. This one's really dominant. The one with the limp. Hello again! I recognise you. Let me stroke your back, because I don't want your pecker, pecker beak, <laughs> your beak peck, <laughs> your beak peck. <laughs> peck beak, beak peck, beak peck, I even say it now. <laughs> It just pecked its bum like it, what I was afraid it was going to do to me. There's so many of them. I'm nervous when they get behind me because I'm worried that it's going to do the same to me and try and peck my bum or something. Because that's quite scary. I feel for that poor goose that got pecked. Mm. Ooh. I'm gonna peck, I'm gonna stroke you. Now you know how I feel! <laughs> this was a very dominant one as well. Ooh, this one, this one and all. Yeah, you are as well. Hey, is that your mate? It's very cute. It's very cute. It's very cute. They're going away now. Aww. So they see the bag, they see the bag, and then they get excited a bit. Haven't I brought a bag with me before? I have, haven't I? And I've never been this excited. Hmm. Why do I look so excited today? A lot of energy because it's day. <gasps> Banging noises. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry. This flecking that one. Did you see that? I need a place to sit down, but you don't mind if I lift this, do you? That one's got poop on its beak. <laughs> I did have one peck at my hand once before. I was feeding it actually, and I was trying to put it on the ground, and it pecked my hand. I told it off. <laughs> I said, let me just put it on the ground. Same with the squirrel. A squirrel once uh, tried to get the food from my hand and it scratched me. So I said, let me just put the food on the ground. Now they're back. Those people are back. They passed you before. They got excited and realised, oh, it's the same people as before. <laughs> Even though they got excited when I showed up like a second time. They were very excited to see me. <laughs> yeah, they came running. They were about to run at you then, and then they realized, oh, it's them again. <laughs> but I haven't gotten anything either. I keep forgetting to bring stuff. It's not good, is it? I will. See you later. I'm coming with you, actually. Let me stroke you! No fair! What about you? Can I stroke you? Can I stroke you? Please! Oh, oh that's no fair! You're mean. <laughs> oh, it's excited about something. I like to observe their behaviours actually, it's quite interesting. Trying to figure out who's like dominant and stuff. Oh, that one's a bit skittish. And which one's like husbands and wives and stuff? They seem to be quite respectful of their husbands and wives. Unlike the pigeons that are always pecking at them and bullying them. Hello, Mrs. Or Mrs. Magpie, how's your partner and kids? Hope they're all well. Even though I just slurred my words, hope it still counts. 
sure it does. All I know is I'm very thirsty. These geeses are making me thirsty. I don't know why. I just had a bunch of... Hello! <laughs> because they made me a tiny bit nervous when they all started coming really close. Hmm. Well, they looked like they were going to peck me, so I was a little bit nervous. It's better now they're not all crowding around me as much. It's fun when they get all excited though because they start, that's when they start showing dominance and hierarchies and stuff. My friend just said something about like hierarchies in friend groups and usually when that happens it's quite toxic when they, when they have like hierarchies in their adult friend groups. I don't even think they have that with your children friend groups anymore, at least the teenage ones I don't really know. Unless it's like, you know, they're like the hooligan types where they're going to be, um, you know, organising their harassments, their hooligan activities. I, th I think they're right. I mean, it, did be it can become toxic, just like in the geese things because they start attacking each other. I'm not trying to threaten them, I just want to get close to them because they're so cute! But they might take in it as threatening. Because that's what the geese do. They go like really close and then start. Why does that one have poop on its bill? Poop on its bill. Hello. They think I'm singling them out, so I don't. I don't really uh, blame them for getting nervous. Nobody likes being singled out. That's how it always felt when the hooligans started on me. It always felt like they singled me out above all else. Like they were okay with everybody else in the neighbourhood, even other people who dressed differently. Like they were okay with Liam, who obviously looks different. He's autistic, and you know. It's kind of obvious that he is that way. And it's obvious that he's a bit different because of how he dresses and stuff. You know, dressed in like... Um, more gothic looking clothes too. And, you know... Well, they were okay with him. And uh, they were, like I say, there was two girls who were dressed gothic who went past them and they didn't even jeer at them or anything. They didn't even react. So it's, it's clear to me that they're okay with other people who are unusual and different. So it does, it does feel, I will admit, there probably are other people that they pick on and bully, but it does feel like it's specifically me that they single out. That's the one with the duff wing. I recognise you. Hello. I love duff wings today. Right, I think I'm going to go now because um, I'd like to continue walking and try and find a place to sit down. Hello, gooses. These are the two that made all the noise, isn't it? They look very small from there. Hello. Very cute. Seem pretty mild, this one. Hello. It's like, no, what's in here? There's nothing in there, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. I'll bring something next time.